Hey YouTube, BR Tidwell 55 here, and tonight my topic for trying to get a discussion going is net neutrality. That's a subject that is probably near and dear to the hearts of a lot of YouTubers. Uh, because what it boils down to is can internet service providers restrict certain protocols that put a heavy load on the network, on their networks? Now the SCC, I think yesterday, came down and they're, pro uh, they're proposing some rule changes that are going to prevent ISPs from doing that. Now on the face of it, to the consumer, to the internet user, that sounds pretty good. Because hey, I'm paying for my Cox, or I'm paying for my Comcast, or I'm paying for my uh, Ma Bell DSL. You know, I'm paying for that service and I ought to be able to bit toward it full length, uh, at full speed however much I want to. The problem is you have to look deeper than that. Because yes, you're paying for a service, but at the same time, the companies that provide that service have a responsibility to all of their customers to provide as high a quality of service and as high quality of network to them as they possibly can. Let's say uh, ISP observe the, uh, observes these net neutrality uh, rules or whatever. What that means is my neighbor upstairs, and I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing this out for an example. But that means you know maybe he's on LimeWire every night, downloading movies whatever and you know I'm sitting down here and I'm off the same strand of cable or I'm off the same uh, I'm off the same subnet and uh, because he's doing that all the time means I can't watch Hulu for example because he's choking down the network is that really fair to me I'm paying for the same internet service that he is, but it, it, it's it's really not it's really not fair to me. However, if the uh, if the ISP does do some packet filtering and does uh, you know choke down uh, bandwidth on uh, certain protocols like BitTorrent, then yeah, you can still do the bit twerk. You may not get your files as fast as you want to, but for the other users who are uh, using the internet for Skype, for video conferencing, or watching YouTube, or watching uh, TV shows on Hulu or whatever, they're still getting they're getting the quality uh, the, and the level of, and they're getting the level of service that they're paying for and that they deserve. And the other concern I have is if these uh, new uh, net neutrality rules are adopted, I'm afraid we're going to see the price of, uh, of internet service just skyrocket. Uh, because it will force, it will force the ISPs to upgrade their capacity, which at the end of the day is a good thing. But at the same time, it costs money. To, uh, to, uh, to make that happen. And they're going to pass the cost of that along to the consumer. So, personally, I want, and I, I, want, I want my ISP 
to employ good network management practices that provide the most benefit for the most customers. Uh, now I know I'll probably get blamed for this, but I, I think you have to look at uh, you, you have to look at the big picture. Uh, bandwidth is a finite uh, commodity, and, uh, and 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 the networks that own that bandwidth that they they have to manage it. They they absolutely have to manage it. Otherwise, it will result in poorer customer service and a poor experience for everyone. So, and also the libertarian in me just really cringes at, just really cringes any time the government starts talking about more regulations in another industry. Uh, but that's a that's that's a political argument that I'm not going to get into. I, I think tech. Uh, I think. But personally, I think these new net neutrality rules, uh, from a technical standpoint and from an economic standpoint, in the long run, are are bad government. So anyway, uh, that's my opinion. As always, feel free to comment, rate, post a video response. Good night.